Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with sensiblemom.com. Welcome back to my channel and another video. Today my husband and I are going to be shopping at Sam's Club and we are going to bring you guys along. So let's go inside. All right, so we're in the store right now and we're picking up a bag of this rubber mulch. It's $8.48. And we're gonna go ahead and grab some of this right now. I know we're in Sam's Club, but it seems like we're in a dance club. It sounds similar because of this music, but we're actually in Sam's Club. <laughs> and the reason I'm, we're buying this rubber mulch here is uh, we had a special friend in our garden this year, our new raised bed, which is a amoeba. <laughs> so what happened is we put a raised bed in an area that wasn't getting a lot of uh, sun um, throughout the day. And um, some of the dirt I put there were, was a little bit inferior to some of the other dirt I put other locations. Plus we got a ton of rain. Plus we got a ton of rain. So what happened is, in our raised bed, we started growing this amoeba, which uh, maybe we'll insert a, a photo here. Um, it goes by many names, like dog vomit and some other weird Literally, things. it's named, one of the names for this amoeba is dog vomit. So, um, so basically, uh, I spent yesterday removing all the dirt and we're going to take that raised bed that we just put this year anyways and we're going to move it somewhere else for next year so i have to redo my bed and put new stones and put new mulch so i'm just going to need one bag of this rubber mulch and it'll look like you won't be able to tell the difference that it was even there to begin with so yeah it's kind of disappointing you yeah because we were looking that was our pepper garden and our stuff wasn't growing it's very stunted and yeah. then I relocated at different locations and then all of a sudden it was growing again, so. Yeah, I, I took the peppers out and put them somewhere else in, a, in another area of our garden and they started growing like instantly. And, and you know, basically Ruben got rid of the amoeba one day. It was hideous. And then uh, about two, three days later, it was back again. So we knew that that was what was causing us a problem. problem. Even though they said, it, it says online that the amoeba is supposedly supposed to help your garden in some ways eat bacteria and fungus but it's supposedly safe it's not going to harm your you know vegetables or flowers but i don't think anybody wants to have some blob thing growing next to their uh, vegetables and because of the not just because of that but because of the the way our things okay we have a special guest here from sam's club uh because of how things were growing i mean there's no need to just have two inch Pepper plants, they're not growing, so. No. no. We just decided to rip, take it all out, and we'll start again. We'll probably put that uh, raised bed uh, where we had our, our um, strawberries, and maybe we'll grow to potatoes and sweet potatoes next year, which is uh, going to be fun because we that's a lot of things we do buy. And I love sweet potatoes. Yes. They are absolutely delicious. And we buy, if you guys have seen our other videos, uh, we buy tons of potatoes. And so we're thinking about doing that next year. Unfortunately, yeah, the strawberries didn't work out. This, this fifth raised bed that we had uh, new this year didn't work out. And so that's sometimes that happens when you're gardening. And so right now, we're going to go ahead and just check out some of their clothes here at Sam's Club. I'm going to just see if there's any deals. It looks like they have got some of their Halloween costumes out already. And it looks like they took a lot of the clothes away, doesn't yeah, it? Look it like does. they, don't, they don't have a whole lot uh, available out here right now. So, But they do have pretty decent clothes here at Sam's Club. And s same with Costco, but... Yeah, but we tend to find more at Sam's Club. And they sell my favorite pants here. They're Capri Capri's, and they are the Raffaella brand, although I don't see any. That's one of the things that I wanted to... And we're not affiliated with them. We're not promoting them in any, any way, even yeah. though they're so cool, but... Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I love them. I've had so many pairs of the Raffaella pants, but I don't see any today. So I guess, uh, I guess I'm not gonna get those today. Hopefully they end up with a new version very soon here. But um, yeah, so we're just gonna pass through there then. I guess we're not gonna get any clothes today. So we're gonna go to our, my favorite part of the store. So uh, if you ever go to Sam's Club and you see these little kiosks that you put your card underneath, they give you a um, free, sample. free sample, which sometimes is good. But a lot of times uh, it seems to be, you go there, go to the whole spiel of saying, blah, 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 wait five minutes, 10 seconds or whatever. And it's they're, a coupon. They're, <laughs> it's a coupon or they're gone. So we're gonna go check it out. I think oh, yeah. I saw some lady with one. 
so we yeah, should, sometimes there there's none left. We should check it out. They're blasting the music oh, at man. Sam's today, so hopefully that doesn't come through too much. Fill your room with nature okay, here it is. With scented oils. With we have a lot of these. Oil. We get our. They provide up to Wait till this lady's done. I don't like talk over people. Seems a nice lady. Mm -hmm. But um, there it is. See. Probably got a couple of these already. Your home today. All you have to do is buy their Would you like inserts at $14.98. But we're not going to do that. Fragrance levels to fill your room. Not today. today. So, what was I saying? A lot of these uh, kiosks, they have like these um, things you put in your washing machine. They're like uh, the scent, scent boosters. Scent boosters. Yeah. Because we come here so often, I never have to buy that. I literally, we don't use it all the time because uh -huh. some of our kids are sensitive to like fragrances and stuff. So yeah. I put them in every once in a while in some sheets or some towels and I never have to buy any because we come here and they give us a pack and we're supposed to put the whole pack in the washing machine, but I never do. I just put it maybe like one fourth of it in there because it's like I said, it's, it's really strong. strong. And that's how we get it to last long and that's our way to save some money. Yeah. And now we're going to go buy some our family's Spaghetti. favorite food is pasta. Uh-huh. And here seems to be the best. Yeah, you could probably get it cheaper from some stores when they're on sale, but here it's this is what it is almost every time. Yep, so it's six dollars and fifty-eight cents for a six pack of thin spaghetti. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that today. And one day we decided to buy this thin spaghetti and all of a sudden everybody likes thin spaghetti. So when we buy the, the thick one, everybody's like What's going on with the spaghetti? It's too fat. <laughs> and, I know. And I like to eat my spaghetti. Really don't like a lot of spaghetti, but when I do eat it, I do eat it with my chili. I saw it one time, a long time on Food Network, and since, uh, since then, I've, that's how I eat mine. So if you haven't tried that, I have a veggie chili that I make. I don't know if I ever make a video on it, but it's the best chili in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we filmed a video for the chili like a few years ago, and then I meant to edit it and get it up on YouTube, and it never happened. So maybe we'll have to try that all over again, right? We'll have to maybe um, film a new video and show you guys Ruben's uh, vegetarian spaghetti, because it's a uh, spaghetti, a uh, vegetarian chili, because it's delicious. And here we are at the Pinto Beans. And we buy these a lot, and we go through them a lot. It's a lot, so this might be a lot. Oops. If you have a smaller family, but for us, um, I don't know. How long do you think it lasts? I'm, I can't really think. It lasts us probably a few months at least. These are non-GMO, which is fantastic, and they're, it's 12 pounds. So we eat pinto beans, black beans. Um, and white beans. White beans. Navy beans. Chickpeas. Yeah, so, so we just don't eat this one. If that, we we're just eating that, probably go through it faster. But. Yeah, but we do eat a lot of beans. They're really healthy and delicious for you. You can and use them in a lot of different recipes. Yep. So what's next on my list? I think we're gonna get some pretzels and some tortilla chips. Okay, let's yeah. go. So I've got just a short list today that I am working off of. We are looking for our favorite tortilla chips. Yeah, we don't well, really buy a lot of potato chips, so we usually buy tortilla chips and try to get them because not every place has them um, salt free and this place does have them and they're the cheapest you can find them yep they're the El Ranchero tortilla chips and we love these and you're not going to find them well in our area anywhere uh, cheaper than you can find them at Sam's Club they're $1.98 so we're going to pick up three bags today of the unsalted tortilla chips and we use chips. these tortilla chips when we eat our world famous uh, Trader Joe's salsa that we love there. And we usually mix two different ones together. One day, we'll sh my wife will show you which ones we mix together. One of them is not too hot, and one of them is kind of mild. We put them together to get that perfect uh, balance. balance of flavors. Yeah, it's, the, it's their, uh, their regular salsa, and then it's the fire roasted, the Some, no salted fire yes. roasted. And it's like more, more chunky. So one's thinner, one's more chunky. One is really mild, one has a little bit of heat. And when you mix them together, they're just fantastic. So, yep. yeah. All right. And next we need to find some granola. Oh, granola. And for a long time, I don't know how many years, but I, I do, at one point I was doing mostly all the grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. um, and then me and Sandra started doing the grocery shopping together. So 
We kind of do by half and half. Usually I, we go together or I go by myself. She rarely goes by herself unless, like if I was out of town at a, my certain, uh, previous job where I was out of town for a week and she had to go grocery shopping, but. Yeah, for the most part we. I do like grocery shopping. I yeah, like I to, appreciate that. I like to uh, see what's out there and know what's on sale when it does. It's, most men don't go grocery shopping and they go to the store and grab something. Hey, that looks like what I need. Pay full price. Yep. Or don't know anything about it. And at night we watch the old episodes of Supermarket Sweep and if, if those were still around today, Ruben and I, we could be on there and we could be on fire. Yeah, we watch that with our kids. That's like our family time. Well, let's get back to our originally scheduled program here and get our granola. <laughs> yes, so this is 6.98 in Nature Valley granola. And I'm actually gonna pick up two bags of this today because we're going through it pretty fast right now. Our oldest son, Nathan, loves this granola and he will just eat it by itself. So in a bowl, in a bowl by itself. Yeah, he's our he's our oldest son and he loves crunchy things. And we're going to come get these wonderful pretzels yep. that our son Isaac loves. Yep, Isaac loves the pretzels. Our other kids like them too. But he's the guy that loves them the most. He loves them the most. He can eat two or even three a day. So this is what we would consider one of our uh, naughty foods here because it's not one of the healthiest. But this, it's, it has good ingredients. I mean, it's it's a pretzel. It's a pretzel and the ingredients There's, are okay. They're decent. It's calories, but, yeah, but it's he, not like he's eating potato chips or a candy bar, uh -huh. you know. Yep, so I'm just fine with him having pretzels. Carrot sticks and celery is not going to be eaten all day. No, and then you'll be starving if you do eat that all day. So, so here we, hopefully they have some. Looks like we can't oh find no. them. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, maybe they moved them somewhere else. I don't see any pretzels. Uh-oh. Maybe they're in a different pile. Oh, here they go. Uh-huh, they tricked us. Okay, so they're good. 8 dollars soft pretzels. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab those. And they're big pretzels and they taste good. It means, oh, we've got two of them connected here. Double pack, double pack. I don't know. Okay, well. I'll probably get this one behind it. Oh. Oh. So we got our pretzels, and I don't think I'm gonna get any vegetables or fruit here. I think we're pretty good on those things. What we do get here a lot that we will maybe pass by, um, cause like we go to Sam's Club and Costco, and there's certain certain things if you guys go to both stores that you'll notice some things Costco is better and some things Sam's Club is better. Yep. That's why we have both of our memberships. But the thing I think Sam's Club has better is the, the limes and the lemons. Mm -hmm. We usually do use a lot of those when we in our recipes. Yep. Um, but I think we're good on them for now. Here we are yeah. coming up on them. Um, we, we still have lemons at home and limes. So the three pound bag of lim limes is 288. Mm -hmm. And then the lemons for a three pound bag is 385, which is a pretty great deal. So I want to show you guys that. And are we going to get anything else here? Um, tortillas, maybe? Oh, yeah. Well, we can grab like maybe, maybe Coke packs of tortillas. We're not buying as many tortillas as we used to buy just because we are not making tacos and things like that as much as we used to. But we so, do use them when. Yeah, we do use them. Um, We've made lentil tacos a couple times, and and then we're still going through some meat in our freezer, so. And we um, do, uh, like I do, when I make some beans, I make refried beans, I do use yep. tortillas with that. Yep. Mm -hmm. I made some Mexican rice yesterday. We and use it for that. Yep, but we are using tor less tortillas. Tortillas is a, good, is, a, is a staple for more, most Mexican families. Yep, we um, love our tortillas. They're we not going anywhere. Yeah, we don't eat them every day. <laughs> um, we're not making homemade, which we would like to. We need to get a tortilla press yeah. to make them ourselves. But I haven't. I've looked into tortilla presses, but I haven't found one that has really great reviews. So, so we're gonna get maybe two packs. Two packs, and these are around thirty-eight cents or forty cents. I don't see the price, but it can fluctuate just a little bit. 
But yeah, yeah this is the cheapest uh, that we can ever find them. So that's why we like buying tortillas at Sam's Club when we can. And if we come around to the other side here, this is also not a very uh, healthy choice, but uh, all of our kids love this. This is like their favorite French bread here we get at Sam's Club. Yeah. It doesn't have the greatest ingredients. I mean, I've made bread, fresh bread at home in the past, but it's a lot of work. And Yeah, it's a dollar eighty two. so and since we're showing it and since we're here, we might as well just go ahead and pick some up. So why don't we just go ahead and grab one of these? Oh, yeah. We like to check check the dates and see when it was packaged on... The used by and processed. Date. Okay, 25th. Okay, well, we're good. Okay. And right here, we, there's the soap we used to buy, but we had a great sale on soap at uh, Meyer, so we'll probably need soap for the next two years. Yeah. Or maybe three. <laughs> I mean, I was, We've been found hand soap on sale on clearance like at 20, Meyer. 25 cents. Uh, not the hand soap was like 87, oh, I think, 87, right? For okay. these for these containers of hand soap, these and we big, bought big, like so many of oh, them. I don't know. So many. Yeah. But so we do good. use a lot of our kids wash their hands like almost compulsively. Uh huh. So like a sometimes lot. it's like oh they go through soap so fast. But so I was like okay let's let's get it and we got it all right. So we were storing it in our pantry, in our pantry, in our laundry room, in a garage, anywhere we can try to find it, it's a place for it because they do take up a lot of area, but. But we know we're going to use it, so it's good to have. I'll show you. These are actually interesting. Um, we usually buy them from either Sam's Club or Costco, which one is cheaper. I think the, the ones at Costco are actually better. They're more like um, um, the, the, I guess you wouldn't say the filter quality is like the, the one that picks up more of the allergens and all that stuff they, that they talk about. And this is actually, they're usually $10 off. Yeah, so they're cheaper so usually. This is only $5 off right now. These are $34.98 for these fill treat filters, but it's a three pack, right? Three pack? No, it's or a four pack. pack. Four pack, okay. Sometimes it's three pack. And so maybe that's why it's a little bit more expensive. It's a four pack, because usually I think they're three yeah. packs, right? Okay. But I think, like I said, the, there's like a, a rating. I'm trying to find a find one on the back. I don't know if it's going to show on these ones, but this one's like a rating of 1,200, where the ones we have at home are like 1,800 or whatever. It's supposed to catch more allergens. I don't know if I can tell the difference, but I can tell the difference when one, one needs to be changed. You'll see stuff flying yeah, in the air. Yeah, but you, yeah, you see that it's done its job. So that's yeah. why we like to get the higher quality filters. And they do seem uh, a little expensive, but you break it down how much they cost at a regular store like it could be 12 bucks for one so yeah. you're actually it's, it's saving more deal. money yeah to get um and i know people sample. say that don't you, you just need the cheap ones that's all you need like the dollar ones well i don't know that's mm -hmm. that's one of those things people we do debate. really think there is a difference when you get the higher quality ones so because yeah, they'll yeah. say that um you get the higher quality you're stopping the airflow and then you're making your Air, con air conditioner work harder and your furnace work harder and but when you go change the filter you see all the dust and the dust balls and bugs and just you know everything that's stuck in there and you're and like we seem okay to have a lot of dust balls in our house yeah, we have, we, yeah. I know a lot of kids moving around yeah. we used to live in an RV for a little bit it was the filter we used to change daily it was really bad but yeah yeah anyways anyway so I think we are gonna show you guys our cart and then we're gonna go check out. Before we show you that cart, we're gonna show you this this bike here that we used to have for our one of our kids. Yep. But it was a smaller version. This is like an updated version. The Mobo Mighty, yeah. And I don't know, that's not the right Wait, price. That's not the right price. That's for this. I don't bike know where the Mobo Mighty price is, but this is a really cool thing. I didn't put the flag in ours. You can do really cool tricks. Um, and these are just really great bikes. Really yeah. high quality. Ours, once our kids outgrew them. We actually ended up getting having two eventually, um, and once they outgrew them, we just we sold them, and they we went gave on one to away another too. family. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gave one. Oh yeah, to one of our neighbors, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. So we gave one away, and I think that, and I think we sold one. Yeah. Something like that. So the way this works, of course, you can adjust it here, but as you as you do these things, you turn the wheel, so you can make sharp turns and do like burnouts down the driveway or whatever. So you got to be careful, um, you know with these things a little dangerous i've been in it before even though it was, i was too big for it but <laughs> it was fun <laughs> but yeah they're oh here's great a picture right this is a picture of how it looks here we go yeah so it's, so it's like 299.98 it looks like and yeah. ours is 
free 99 so we can't beat free 99 yeah I, for both of them for so. both of them because um the company sent them to me so that i could do reviews of them on our kids youtube channel which we don't really upload to anymore so yeah i'll take free yeah so looks like we're just i think about done here um the train is leaving the station here we gotta go check out right now So we're going to do a quick recap of what's in our cart here. If you can hear us over this speaker here. Yeah, so we've got our French bread. We've got the rubber mulch on the bottom there. We got the pretzels, three bags of the unsalted tortilla chips, some spaghetti, thin spaghetti, some granola. And last of all, we got our pinto beans. So that's a look at our cart. So another thing real quick before we end up here, um, when we go to... I don't know, it just seems like every time, because we go to uh, the self-checkout here at Sam's Club, uh, Costco has a self-checkout, but it just that's more recent. So what we like to do is we like to say um, how much this costs. So I'll say, Sandra, what do you think, how much it costs? And we'll, we'll find out what her guess is. So let me uh, turn know. the camera around here and see. I'm feeling like maybe like around $80. So we'll today. do a self-checkout and we'll see. 70 to $80, so I'm going to guess. We'll see if she's uh, the, the winner of the $5,000 on Supermarket Street. <laughs> okay. We'll check it out. All right, guys, the pressure was on and I was off. <laughs> so we ended up paying $55.80. So it was less than I thought it was going to be, and that is fantastic. So Ruben's just getting everything in the car now. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot out here. It's in the 90s. Um, and yeah, before we came to Sam's Club, we made a quick stop at Lowe's, Lowe's and we picked up some more, uh, some more bricks because like Ruben was telling you guys, we had to fix our landscaping after he took out the, um, the garden bed. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video, video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.